Welcome to our channel Untold Theory, in this video, we will tell you about the black holes, the unknown universal objects that have so much gravitational power that nothing known can escape from its gravitation. In this video we will tell you about different kind of black holes, which are the most interesting objects of the universe. There are four types of black holes, stellar, intermediate, supermassive, and miniature or primordial. The most commonly known way a black hole forms is by stellar death. When stars reach the ends of their lives, most will inflate, lose their mass, and then pool to form white dwarfs. But the largest of these, those at least 5 to 10 times as massive as our Sun are destined to become either super-dense neutron stars or stellar mass black holes. The Milky Way contains about a hundred million black holes, which were formed by the collapse of very massive stars. A very few of these black holes are closely orbited by an ordinary star that is slowly bleeding matter onto the black hole. As this gas falls toward the black hole, it is heated by strong gravity and friction. Near the black hole, the gas reaches a typical temperature of 10 million degrees. These black hole X-ray sources are easily observed throughout the Milky Way, and in nearby galaxies as well, using orbiting X-ray observatories. An intermediate mass black hole is a black hole with mass in the range 100 to 1 million solar masses significantly more than stellar black holes but less than supermassive black holes. Several candidate objects have been discovered in our galaxy and others nearby, based on indirect gas cloud velocity and accretion disk spectra observations of various evidentiary strength. The strongest evidence for intermediate black holes comes from a few low-luminosity active galactic nuclei. Due to their activity, these galaxies almost certainly contain accreting black holes, and in some cases the black hole masses can be estimated using the technique of reverberation mapping. For instance, the spiral galaxy NGC 4395 seems to contain a black hole with mass of about 400 solar masses. The largest up-to-date sample of intermediate black holes includes about 300 candidates selected by sophisticated analysis of 1 million optical spectra of galaxies collected by the Digital Sky Survey. X-ray emission was detected from 10 of these candidates confirming their classification as intermediate black holes. The extra evidence for the existence of them can be obtained from observation of gravitational radiation, emitted from a binary containing an intermediate one and a compact remnant or another intermediate one. RxJ1140.1 plus 0307 is a spiral galaxy, centered on a lighter, intermediate mass black hole. A team at the Xero Radio Telescope in Australia announced in 2012 that it had discovered the first intermediate mass black hole. Intermediate mass black holes are too massive to be formed by the collapse of a star, which is how stellar black holes are thought to form. The third type of black hole is gorgeous. A supermassive black hole is the largest kind of black hole, with mass of millions to billions of times the mass of our Sun. Observational evidences indicate that almost every large galaxy has a supermassive black hole at the galaxy's center. Our Milky Way has a supermassive black hole in its galactic center. Supermassive black holes are generally defined as black holes with a mass above 0.1 to 1 million times of Sun. Some astronomers have begun labeling black holes of at least 10 billion of Sun as ultramassive black holes. Some other studies have suggested that the maximum mass that a black hole can reach, while being luminous accretors, is of the order of 50 billion times of our Sun. The radius of the event horizon of a supermassive black hole of 1 billion Sun is comparable to the semi-major axis of the orbit of planet Uranus. 
The origin of supermassive black holes remains an open problem to researchers. Astrophysicists agree that black holes can grow by accretion of matter and by merging with other black holes. There are several hypotheses about the formation mechanisms and initial masses of the progenitors, or seeds, of supermassive black holes. One hypothesis is that the seeds are black holes of tens or perhaps hundreds of solar masses that are left behind by the explosions of massive stars and grow by accretion of matter. Another model hypothesizes that before the first stars, large gas clouds could collapse into a quasi-star, which would in turn collapse into a black hole of around 20 times sun. These stars may have also been formed by dark matter halos drawing in enormous amounts of gas by gravity, which would then produce supermassive stars with tens of thousands of solar masses. The quasi-star becomes unstable to radial perturbations because of electron-positron pair production in its core and could collapse directly into a supermassive black hole without a supernova explosion. Primordial black holes, also called quantum mechanical black holes or mini black holes, are hypothetical tiny black holes, for which quantum mechanical effects play an important role. It is possible that such quantum primordial black holes were created in the high-density environment of the early universe. They might be observed by astrophysicists through the particles they are expected to emit by Hawking radiation. Some hypotheses involving additional space dimensions predict that tiny black holes could be formed at energies as low as the TEF range, which can be reached in particle accelerators such as the Large Hadron Collider. However, such quantum black holes would instantly evaporate, either totally or leaving only a very weakly interacting residue. In principle, a black hole can have any mass equal to or above about 22 micrograms, the Planck mass. To make a black hole, one must concentrate mass or energy sufficiently that the escape velocity from the region in which it is concentrated exceeds the speed of light. This condition will give us the Schwarzschild radius. In 2019, a report by James Unwin and Jacob Skoltz proposed the possibility of a primordial black hole, the size of a tennis ball existing in the extended Kuiper belt to explain the orbital differences that are theorized to be the result of a ninth planet in solar system. And what if miniature black holes really exist and just because they are so tiny, we haven't been able to observe their effects, because they are so tiny? When we compare them to the universe, the empty place in the universe is so big that the possibility to meet a tiny black hole is not high for a planet. Maybe our planet will meet one of them one day. Black holes remain deeply mysterious. We require a theory of quantum gravity that will unite Einstein's 1916 theory of relativity with the 1926 theory of quantum mechanics. No such theory exists despite decades of theoretical effort by string theorists and others. The establishment of a theory of quantum gravity will be a crowning achievement of physics on par with the accomplishments of Newton, Einstein and other giants. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked our video please do not forget to subscribe, since your subscribe is enough to support our efforts.